Hi everyone, I've, um, I've got a nice Glowworm Energy 30C here. Um, just wanted to do a very quick video on getting the boiler into combustion mode because it's a little bit different to the Flexicon. Uh, the instructions are okay on this. There's a few bits and pieces I need to alter slightly on some other settings, but um, I've got some poor light here, so bear with me. Basically, to get it into a combustion check, you've got an on off button here, minus mode plus. If you hold the on off button in for five seconds, mode button for three seconds, you see the dashes come up, takes you into parameter mode. Now you need parameter zero one, which is the first one, nice and easy. Press mode to confirm, and then you've got a percentage chart. So we want to put it into maximum mode, obviously. So you can press all the way up to 100%, and that will put the boiler on max mode. You might have to sometimes run a hot water tap to um, keep the temperature down. But with a with a case off, you're looking for 9.0 CO2 plus or minus one, and the case on 9.2 plus or minus one. Um, they don't now want you to check for a minimum CO2, which is um, obviously makes it easier. To adjust the CO2, you're using this adjustment throttle there. So this should now send us up to maximum rate. Um, quite impressed with this boiler so far. It's really well laid out. You can get to everything inside. Nice and simple plate position right there. That's the PRV condensate drain. Pressure switch is just over here the end and my fingers waving around the light's terrible I do apologize so the boiler's now gone into a hundred percent mode you can hear it running and we should get a nice CO2 reading of around nine percent I have noticed the CO parts per million and the ratio are a lot lower than the flexicom actually which means it should be a bit more efficient because um the CO PPM used to be way into the hundreds on the flexi comms. So we always started out on 8.9. So we've got the plus or minus one, there you go, 9.0, bang on. So um, hopefully that helps. I mean, you can play around with some settings if you really want to. You could take it down to 50%. Like I said, I don't want you to do a minimum check, but you could always take it down to sort of 25% maybe. And that's probably not gonna be far off your heating minimum load if you wanted to muck about with that. But yeah, to exit the screen, it's just press the mode button back again and um, away you go. All in all, it's a, it's a good little boiler. This, I'm, I'm impressed with it. It's nice and compact. It's a good um, product. And I think it's a step forward from the Flexicon, which actually became an extremely good boiler in the end. So um, see you all soon. Take care. Bye.